And welcome, it's Rick Not Rick here from Faint TV, doing, uh, hopefully ending two of the Stanley Parable adventure map with my friend Jordan here, who's playing a psycho sniper, and his skin still hasn't loaded, but, uh, we've read the books, we've read the rules, if you haven't seen that, watch, uh, watch ending one, uh, there'll be a box right around here right now so if you haven't seen it click on that now um anyway so we're just gonna jump right in and hopefully we get a better ending this is the story of a man named Stanley like the narrator's voice Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Right. So there's your backstory, uh, in case you didn't follow my advice. And, and then one day, something very go to the next one. Happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Not one. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. <coughs> oh, Jordan. Frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. That's exactly what happened. And regained his senses, he got up from his desk and Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from right then here. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Right. So we're trying to find our missing co-workers cuz they're obviously not here. In the last video, I didn't necessarily follow directions very well. When he came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So let's see what happens when I just followed the directions. Right. Yet there was not a single person here either. The meeting room. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I'm guessing that's uh in here. Yes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Like, I would like to see my boss if this was happening, so it makes more sense. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth I that his boss that had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, eight, Stanley four, four. couldn't possibly have known this. It's like a mission impossible. So I can still try, right? Two eight four five. It's incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Oh, good, luck. good, good job, Stanley. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Guessing that would be this. Oh, this doesn't look very good at all. My, my boss is a sadist, literally. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? 
when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Ah, uh, whatever. He's not getting a feeling because he's in an elevator. Oh, I shouldn't sprint. No sprinting. All right. Well, this seems this seems like a safe bet. Mind g oh. Didn't see that coming. Mind control facility. This is interesting. So we've pressed this button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Weird. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it oh. could be true. Wow. Had Stanley really wow. been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, that's probably it. No. Oh. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own no. life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. That's denial. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. I mean, technically he's seeing it right now. I'm not sure. But then again, where are all his co-workers? They should see this the too. Move, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Strange. Content, sad. Would well, you'd want them to be happy, right? No, content. Because if they're too happy, they get distracted from their work. And you want them to be doing work. So it's probably the setting Stanley's been on for quite some time now. I'm not sure what these numbers are. It's a bit odd. Or this. Is it a puzzle? We're doing a puzzle here. Four. Hmm. So I guess we're going down here. This looks important. Off. Maybe this is the the main the main breaker thing. So uh if we turn it on Let's see what Jarvan thinks. He's a he's a thanker of the group. Right, always a silent one. And I believe he's using the same skin as me. So imagine that's two Stanleys. All right. Um. Oh dear. Choices, choices. Any, many, miny, mo. Catch a Stanley by his parable. If he hollers, let him go. Off. Oh. That was a. I guess we're going this way. Oh. What is this? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Am I not supposed to go over here? Was it over? No, but I think I am. That yes. doesn't sound very good. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Is that it? Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. As Stanley the winner. His co-workers gone. 
How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building down? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Oh. For it was not knowledge or even power oh, that he had been Oh, that's seeking, nice. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it's it beautiful. will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps it's opening the only up thing weirdly. worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. <laughs> What's well, not open yet? <laughs> yeah, idiot. Oh. Guess it just kind of got caught up there. Alright, so this... Um... <laughs> We're gonna get out either way. Right, Stanley. Oh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. <laughs> possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. It's raining. Was happy. In the rain. Oh. Oh. Is this it? Have we done it? Alright. Uh, that, that appears to be ending too, so, we, uh, I mean, we did apparently the worst possible ending, which was basically purgatory, and now we've done the best ending, which is basically selfish freedom, so, good job, Stanley, you honest prick. Uh, so that's ending too, if you like that, you should watch the other ones, uh, there will be more. Trust me, we'll try and get through them all, if we know. We're not sure. But, uh, you should comment, like, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. And, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.